Baldwin County school leaders breaking ground on a new Belforest Elementary School back in January. Last night, families were finding out if their children will go to that school when it opens. Yeah, with the redistricting, the Daphne feeder pattern is also expanding to include some areas currently in Spanish Fort and Fairhope feeder patterns. Our Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick explains how it's going to work and whether you'd be qualified to get grandfathered in at your current school. A big crowd packed into City Hope Church in Malbus last night to learn if their children will soon be heading to new schools. Superintendent Eddie Tyler showed the redistricting map and explained how it will work. The new Bell Forest Elementary will be open in the fall of 2020 and will take a big load off Daphne East Elementary. The dividing line for the schools runs straight up Highway 181 with Fish River being the east boundary for Bell Forest. And we know when we come into a rezoning meeting, some are going to leave feeling good about this and some are just not going to accept it no matter what kind of rezoning we did. It's definitely is a topic around this area. I mean, no question about it. Beginning in 2020, families will have to send their children to the schools in whose district they live. Some families on the north and south ends of the expanded Daphne district will have the option to keep their children in either the Fairhope or Spanish Fort districts. To qualify for the grandfathering option, your student must be a current 5th through 10th grade student or a current K through 4th grade student with an older sibling that is presently in 5th through 10th grade. Students in historic Malbus, Bay Branch, and Plantation Hills will be grandfathered into the Spanish Fort feeder pattern, while those living in Dunmore and Oldfield will be grandfathered into the Fairhope feeder pattern. Families moving into those areas who enroll their children on or before May 23rd of this year will be included in those guidelines. It seems like they did make an effort to really try and kind of keep families together so that sibling groups can go up through the same schools. Um, but I can understand why some people would be frustrated because some of the younger ones still are going to have to switch. One thing to keep in mind is if you do live in one of those areas that qualifies for grandfathering, that uh, once this redistricting takes effect, you will no longer be able to get busing if you choose to keep your child in their current school. School board will no longer provide buses to and from school, so you'll have to get a ride for them yourself. Reporting live in Baldwin County, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News. Okay, Hal, thank you. Meanwhile, staying in Baldwin County, there's more school expansion to share. Fairhope Intermediate School will be adding 16 new classrooms. The project will be paid for using Baldwin County Schools' pay-as-you-go program. It should be completed by the fall.